Hello there, it's the voice of nightmares, and today we're going back to Grand Theft Auto <coughs> Vice City story. Sorry for the coughing, I'm actually really sick. Uh, I might actually have that new strand of COVID that they've been talking about. Uh, it's not, it's not been good. But yesterday I woke up and my body was covered in my own blood from a major soldier. nosebleed. But, uh, either way, I'm still feeling fine. Uh, I'm quarantined inside of a one-bedroom apartment for um, pretty much for the next seven, six days or so. I'm, I'm here for ten days in total. And they swap me. Okay, well, but anyways, tonight we're going to go hang out with <laughs> Marty's wife and um, see what she's up to. Oh, by the way, I think I'm going to have to turn down this music at some point. Yeah, I, I noticed in like the last video that I made, like the music volume mixed in with me talking with my microphone type. Yeah, I'm using a cell phone. Uh, it doesn't sound very good, so we're just going to have to go to the audio and fix it. Ah, time to go chill with Luis. Hey, Louise. Hey, Vic. How are you? Uh, getting better. Well, all right. Hey there. <laughs> you deserve good things, honey. Uh, maybe. Better than this shit. Hey, come on. What's wrong? Nothing. Everything. It's bullshit. I mean, I'm a fucking mess. Didn't finish high school. Got a kid by a goddamn prick. Living on my sister's couch. No hope. Come on, you're just going through a bad time right now. Things will improve. You'll see. Show me a way out. Just show me a fucking way out. I don't know. Look at it this way. I've been kicked out of the military. Now I'm working with jerks, robbing people, all to pay for my brother's medical bills. While my mother freebases half the money I sent anyhow. I am not the one to ask for advice. Yeah. <laughs> Look at us. <laughs> what a pair. <laughs> <laughs> pathetic, huh? Worse than pathetic. <laughs> Hey, you want to go out? Maybe? Get some fresh air? Have some fun? Sure. Sounds good. Say, Phil said there was a quad bike race at the trailer park. Hey, there you go. Hey, great. Quad bikes and moonshine. Let's go. Yeah, well, if you notice from that uh, cutscene there, the part where Vic um, talks about Will the baby uh, robbing, okay? stealing, and killing sure, she'll be just uh, as a way to pay I'm for his medical bills, you know what that blood. could possibly um, tell me? That the moral behind this story is that you never turn to crime as a way to solve your financial problems. Let's think about that for a second. He got kicked out of the military. Because somebody offered him some money to go up there and sell some weed. He is now forced into a life, he's forced himself into a life of gangbanging. Where he is being hunted down and shot at by a bunch of people. And he's done things that he never probably thought he was ever going to do. And he's basically becoming more and more corrupted as time goes by. Also too, Mary... Uh, I mean, Luis... Sorry, Luis. I can definitely see where she's coming from in life. I've known a lot of people that have made very similar mistakes to her. It's really sad when you really truly think about it. But anyways... Oh, this race. Yeah, here we go. Good luck, Vic. You'll need it. And... <coughs> If you notice too, with um, 
with, with um, I guess what I would say with Luis here is that she's not making a very smart decision right now. Okay, we got the quad race going on. Yeah, sure thing. But look at what territory it's it's in. It's in Marty's backyard. And these guys that we're actually racing against, they're Mar they're Marty's gang members. So coming back here just isn't a very intelligent decision. It puts her at a lot of risk considering the kind of person that Marty is. And it also puts Rick at a lot of risk. Considering where this is located at, I'm surprised Rick didn't tell her, listen, we should probably go do something out. else. Like, this doesn't look safe. But, you know. Anyways, I think, uh, oh, by the way, when you're actually doing this race here, uh, you want to make sure that you don't miss a single target. Or every time you, like, you do get a little bit off track, you gotta get back on it, like, right, right away. Because there's no mercy in this mission. If you, like, accidentally go, like, across the street or something like that, or get knocked off in just two seconds, you have absolutely no possible way of getting back into first place, and you need first place. That was great. I had the best time. Glad to hear it, Louise. Look, uh, I'm a little worried about your baby. Oh, Mary Beth? She'll be fine, but maybe I'd better get back. Wait up. I'll take you. That's okay. Will you call on me sometime, Vic Vance? Damn, look at her walk away. I think out of all of, like, the... Like, I, th I don't know if I've said this before, but I think out of all the 3D Universe characters, like, Louise has to be one of the best designed females. Like, I, I like the prettiest out of all, like, the third dimensional, like, GTA characters. There's a lot of the other ones, like, even, like, okay, like, don't get me wrong, they're not exactly gorgeous, because, well, number one, they're not real. But, uh, but they really took some time with her, with her design, to make sure that she's got complete curves, etc., etc., so she's designed to look attractive, which is, which also makes this kind of even sadder, considering the fact that She's beautiful for the fictional world that she lives in, and she's stuck with an ass, so she's a young, beautiful woman that's stuck with an asshole like Marty. Just kind of makes you think. And if you notice with Marie, uh, with Louise too, is that she's attracted to the wrong kind of guys. She's attracted to these bad boys, most likely because her brothers and, um, believe her her father was most likely like this it's all she knows and a lot of times too like quote unquote bad boy isn't exactly the best type of person that you should be dating anyways hey stop that sorry it's it's nothing I'm just tired doesn't look like nothing. What's wrong? <laughs> I left some of her things back at Marty's. Everything I do is wrong. I can't even run away right. Look, it's not such a big deal. We'll just head over to Marty's and go get him. Well, what about Marty? Well, what about him? Thanks, Vic. You're something else. Okay, so we have to go help Luis get back some of her stuff that she accidentally left at Marty's. Now, uh, this mission is going to probably prove my earlier statement that going back to the old trailer park isn't a very good idea. And you can definitely tell that um, Marty has definitely destroyed this woman's um, sense of self-esteem, her sense of self-worth. Like, she believes that she's completely useless. Most likely due to all of the mistakes that she's made in the past and constantly negatively reflects on. And... <coughs> all the abuse that she's gone through. God, I fucking hate this damn COVID shit. Oh, 
I really wanted to do a creepy pasta for like the new year, but thanks to me being sick, my voice I just can't fucking handle it right now. <coughs> yeah, oh, I hate this cough. Uh, anyways, back to what I was saying before, Luis is just definitely like, oh, like completely messed up. Um, and I can actually relate to a lot of what she goes through when it comes to the former, not the latter. I've, I've never been physically abused, really, by anybody in my life, but I have had my self-esteem completely beaten out of me. And i tell you one thing, it's not a good thing. Okay. I don't like the look of these guys. Aren't they the guys from the quad bike race? So you cheats have shown your ugly bitch ass faces. If Marty heard you talking to me like that. Marty? Marty said the next time he saw you, he'd turn you out. Back off, white trash. White trash? You wanna do this, bitch boy? Okay, go, kicking baby. the shit Let's out of these go. assholes is definitely gonna you be my f boy? it's gonna be a hell of a lot of fun. Now notice the title of this mission, it's called Taking Out the White Trash. Well that speaks very highly of what Marty's gang actually is. Don't make me angry. They're stereotypical white supremacists who white male supremacists who um basically believe and stand by Mar believe I'll that um, the, 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 there should be a return of the Confederacy, and you there's actual evidence to back that up. And they have no forums with beating the hell out of women. You, but I will. And if you really listen to some of the di dialect, as you will find, as you, um, you probably heard in the past videos, um, a lot of these guys are probably. Hang on. I'll get my baby's things. You should have just bought new. I will. I just found Marty's wallet inside. I'm going shopping. That asshole owes me. This is not a very good decision. Yeah, now you're going to steal the guy's money. And you're going to basically run off and just buy a bunch of stuff after coming back and Marty, killing a bunch of his gang members. Like Louis sadly just isn't very smart when it comes to some decisions that she makes. This is not a good idea. All right, so we gotta take her out and take her back to her place. Let's get the hell out of here. And my suggestion to guys, when you, if you guys ever play this game, uh, when you get to this level here, bring a shotgun. It helps get rid of those guys very, very easily. But don't, don't do what I did. Come empty, almost empty-handed. <coughs> I'm actually kind of surprised I was able to kick the shit out of so many of them. We don't need your uh, stinking lines. Yeah. So, like I was saying before, a lot of these guys are probably. Well, according to, well, if you believe what they say about Marty, they're inbred, Holy which means shit, they're really products of incest, which is a very negative, um, which is a very negative thing to, hang on, Vic another Vance? cutscene. I never knew I could have such a good time. A great time? Oh yeah, we had a right. Mm -hmm. And you were great. Well, I better get on inside. See you later. I don't know why the fuck this game keeps doing that. Like, that is so ridiculous. Like, the cutscene should load in properly. Oh well. Oh. Let's go see our old buddy, Dr. Phil. A.K.A. Phil Cassidy. Killer Butch Cassidy. Okay. All right, let's... 
fuck? Do I, is there anything to drive around here? Come on. I'm gonna be a Are you serious? Okay. Well, let's keep running. That's right, I really don't want to get arrested by the pigs. Watch it, you bastard. You anchors. The 5-0. We're the vice squad. What the fuck am I doing? Did my wife send you? Okay, hang on. Let's go back. Ah, uh, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just go save it first. I'm pretty sure I'm close to that safe house. Come on, where am I going? Alright. I'll be taking. Oh, for fuck's sakes! Are you serious? Come on, bitch. Let's just do that for a little bit of fun. Come on, let's go. Move your bitch ass. Fuck him, and let's just keep driving. Ah, there we go. Back to my Vice City apartment. Alright, so we're gonna save it. Oh, wait a minute. Did I get any new clothes? No. I don't remember exactly how to unlock that shit. Anyways, fuck it. Saved! Taking out the white trash. Okay, hit the back button. Hmm, I wonder if I... Okay. There we go. Finally. Yeah, I got this shit kicked out of me and arrested, so I decided to just skip forward to this part. <laughs> Phil, baby, would I screw you over? Yeah, you would. Bullshit! I wouldn't. Not to you, not to a brother in arms. Come on, give me a hug. Ah, screw you over. Nah, you'd never screw anyone over, would you? Oh, look who it is. St. Victor of Vance, the holier-than-thou killer. All these principles, you go around shooting people. <laughs> I do what I gotta do. Ooh. After I trusted an asshole. You enjoyed it, brother. Admit it, because you're a maniac, huh? <laughs> I gave you a life. Go to hell, Martinez. Uh -huh. See, Phil, I saved Vic, and I can save you, too. Huh? What does this scumbag want? He wants me to go over to some warehouse and see if his merchandise is all there. That's all. Hey, it's cool. Go with him, Vicky boy, if you don't trust me. But Phil, you owe me after what you said. You said that was forgotten. If you do this... I'll explain as we drive, Vic. It's time for me to get another drink. What was that about? You've got to go. No, I got drunk and told Martinez I didn't trust him no more. I said he was an asshole. He is an asshole. No, I am. Because now he won't put any work my way until I do trust him. Let's get this over with. Great, now we got to go work for fucking asswipe Martinez again. Whoa. I dropped my phone there. Uh, yeah, fucking Martinez. What an asshole. I saved Vic. Yeah, I got him thrown out of the military and into a Vic. criminal lifestyle. That's what you call saving somebody. 
I'm that speaks that a lot about tree. that guy's character too. That uh, basically tells you me, is that he sober doesn't take SOB any responsibility for his own mistakes. This Jerry Martinez guy is very uh, calculative. He's very deceitful. He's just an all right. He's just an. It's just a 100% nothing but a pure piece of shit. But working for him fucking sucks. All right, let's go see what this guy needs. He needs his merchandise looked after. <sighs> you know what? You got guys like that in real life too that will constantly use people and just dispose of them whenever they please. I know I been around people like that, I called some of those guys friends, only to find out they weren't really a friend at all, just a bunch of ass, <coughs> oh, sorry, <coughs> oh, that's terrible, oh, I fucking hate that, excuse me, oh. Come on, baby. I, gotta go two. <coughs> oh, I hate this damn sickness, I hope I get better soon, fuck I need cough syrup, this sucks. Apparently, my city right now is due for another lockdown. The sound of my voice right now, and we probably need one. Just a couple, like I said, a couple weeks ago, earlier on in another video, like I said, a couple weeks ago, um, we ended up, but was it last week, just right before Christmas? We actually ended up with the highest record of COVID cases. Um, since the beginning of the pandemic and I sadly by the sound of it I might actually be one of them anyways let's see what these assholes what Jerry wants us to do who the hell are these guys Hey, fellas, Martinez said... Yeah, Martinez said bye-bye. Hot damn! Play fair, fellas. What about the damn Geneva Convention? Don't think the Geneva Convention applies to drug dealers. They have a set of codes of their own, which not even they obey. <laughs> yeah, so, there you go. Marty's trying to kill us now. Fucking piece of shit. Oh, I swear to God, I can't wait. I can't wait till I get a chance to... I mean, not Marty. Jerry. 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 <laughs> Marty. Uh, is that what I've been saying the whole time? Oh, God, I feel stupid. No, Jerry is just a fucking scumbag. Alright, holy fucking shit. Do not get us killed. We're not dead, which is a good sign. You want to watch out for these Mexican for these guys. They're not the cholos. You want to watch out for these guys because um, as we're doing this, you basically you can easily get this whole fucking thing blowing up. I mean, look at look at the, how high the truck damage is already. If that thing lights up. We're both dead. And we fail the mission, so and their cars will explode very fast because he's throwing moonshine at them, or, or molotovs is what they call them, bottle bombs. That's what they used to call them, which actually sounds much better than molotovs. I, I know what I know what molotovs actually come from. I know where the terminology comes from. However. Uh, before they called them Molotovs, they used to call them Bottle Bombs. Which Bottle Bomb sounds better, anyways. I think we've both outgrown our usefulness to Martinez. Jerry wants us dead? Shit, asshole. I'm gonna lay low for a while. I reckon you should too. Screw that! I ain't hiding from that piece of shit. Remember, discretion's the better part of valor. Good luck, soldier. Wait, oh, a paged message. It's you 
and Phil are still on my shit list. You'd better leave town while you can. Fuck off, Martinez. Oh, I can't wait till I get an opportunity to just blow a hole through his head. Oh, wait, who's this? Can you come over now? We've got trouble with Marty. Ugh, Marty, that fucking asshole again. Well, let's go see what Luis needs. Well, actually, I think I know what the mission this is. Uh, sounds like we finally get to deal with our pal Marty. Which I can't wait to fucking do. Say fuck. Uh, time to go see what Luis needs. Kill Marty. Who, who the fuck are you? Where's Luis? What? He, he took her. That. that He's gonna do something wicked to her! Wait, who took her, and who are you? Mary Jo, her sister. Who are you? Vic. A friend. Oh. It's, it's nice to meet you. I've, I've heard a lot about you. Who took her? That monster Marty. He said he's gonna turn her out! Jesus. It's his own wife. Yeah, yeah, but he wanted to turn me out, too! I promise you he did. Okay, so as you heard right there, we gotta go save Louise. Now, when she says the words, turn her out, what that yeah, actually I'm means, that's a slang terminology for Yo, her, he's gonna force her into prostitution. In other words, he's gonna rape her. So what's, what he's gonna do is he's actually going to go down to one of his prostitution brothels, and he's gonna, and him and his kin are in a bunch of his me gang members, are actually going to gang rape Luis, and we got to prevent that from happening. Shows what a piece of fucking shit Marty is. About time we dealt with his ass anyways. I'm getting sick of him. Can't wait to kill him. Well, we got to get down there fucking fast. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, and Luis's sister has a lot of fucking problems. You can tell she's definitely one of those people out there that was probably jealous of Luis's beauty because she's just not as good looking. Like, there's, there's no way in hell, yeah, there's no way in hell it's healthy to say you want someone to turn you out. Oh. I ain't gonna be your whore, Marty! You've been whoring yourself on that Vic, don't you deny it! Well, if you're gonna act like a whore, you're gonna be one. Get in that truck! Shit! Vic, help! You looking for trouble, Vince? Yeah, so, yeah, remember these two guys? This is the guy that asked if, um, Vic could, how you high Vic could jump. Fist. Oh, that felt fucking great. Now it's time to kick the shit out of both of them. I'm Say goodbye like to Marty's shirt. friends. Fucking pricks. You enjoying this? Time to die. There we go. Now we gotta go stop Marty real quickly. And uh, when you're on this mission, you want to be very careful. Not like make sure you you're very careful of how you approach Marty because he has the pump action pump shotgun with him. So if you go up to him, he'll fucking blow you away like no tomorrow. Very easy to get killed by Marty. All right, time to finish this fucking little bastard off. Oh, this is gonna feel real good. Come on now. Let's get to <sighs> it. 
and most likely the brothel <laughs> that we're actually going to be used to, that he's trying to get to is most likely the one that we took from the Cholos. So, yeah, that's more of like an insult to injury. And you could tell that he's definitely jealous of Victor Vance as well. It's his own stupid fault. He treats his woman like shit, so... Pouring yourself out for Vic. The only fucking at with. What a piece of shit. Let me Time to fuck him right up. Aw. Fuck this fucking prick. Let's go kill Martin. Let's go kill Marty. Alright, come on. Let's see if I can stop that. Oh, by the way, you don't want to blow this thing up either or shoot it. Because you will kill Luis and then you'll fail the mission. Boom. Come on. Come on out. Be a good boy, Marty. Come on out so I can, can show you exactly what I've been wanting to do to you this whole time. <laughs> Sorry. Kill Marty, yeah. Boom, done. Oh, that felt good. Oh, wait, there's his kid. Oh, there's his homeboys. Or one of them. Look, he just takes off. So much of a chicken shitty as well. That's the end of Marty. Death by fucking being ran over at a brothel. And what do you know? I was right. I can't believe you killed him! How am I gonna look after my baby now? You what? Marty was an asshole! He treated you worse than shit! I'm sorry! I just... Hey, look! Marty's kin are gonna be coming for you now! We better get you someplace safe! Okay, now we gotta take Luis back to a safe house. I mean... To the safe house, yeah. I can handle well, Marty's kid, Marty's Louise. Safe house I just want to make sure, sure you're safe, that's all. Oh, wait a minute. Should we? Oh, yeah, let's do it. Oh, yeah, come on. Just drive right over him. Okay, got back up. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's exactly, uh, there's a, that's exactly where you belong. Underneath the car where it's going a thousand miles an hour. Fucking asshole. I know he's just a video game character, but I'm just having fun. Alright, so now that we've saved Luis, we've actually got to go to a safe house. And then next mission, coming up after this one here, we've got to go deal with Marty's gang. Look, you and Mary Beth are going to be better off without Marty, you know? Are we? It's just everything's changing so fast. Everything's going to be fine. You're okay, Vic Vance. All right. <laughs> we got ourselves a new safe house. And a new pair of clothes. Trailer trash clothes. Okay, so we definitely want to change the outfit. And I most definitely want... Uh, yeah. Marty style, which actually looks cooler on Vic. Time to save. Of course! Save completed. Let's go. Come on, you stupid fucking thing. Let's do this. All right. All right, so we got ourselves a new place to start a new business, a new compound. I'm pretty sure I know what the next one... Wait, what am I fucking doing? Oh! Shit, yeah. I remember. i check and see if that thing is... Yeah, so it did save properly. Okay, cool. Cool. 
We're in Little Haiti. What an interesting place for a trade for uh, a business that's owned. What an interesting place for Marty's um, gang operation to uh, to be at. Oh, sick! We can store in a lot of shit in there. That'd be great. A lot of a lot of fucking good vehicles we can place in there. Okay, now let's go do something. I'm pretty sure there's another mission coming up. Hang on. Oh, uh, sorry guys. Me, Voice of Nightmares again. Decided to skip ahead a little bit. So let's go do another. This will be the last mission for this video. To Victor the Spoils. I've been thinking over what you said about me and the baby being better off without Marty, and I've got a plan. Why don't you take over Marty's business? I'm no gang boss. No, but you could be. Come on, we both need the cash, honey. First, we need to get some guys together. Yeah. This definitely isn't a very good idea either, but... She is right. This is gonna be fucking hella fun taking over Marty's crew. Okay, this is actually really, really cool. Watch this. So what we're gonna go do is we're going to go take over Marty's gang you don't need your and finish them ice. off for good. This is uh, this is the number one reason why if you've never played this one, but you played Vice City, the original Vice City. This is the number one reason why the Trailer Park Mafia doesn't exist in there. Because Victor destroyed them in, in 1984. Okay, so that that's the year, by the way, that this game hey, takes place in. This takes no, place on, prior to, to Vice City. No problem, man. That's why it's called Vice City Story. Anyhow. sick. really do hate being fucking Man, you sick. must be old dope. Alright. Let's go see if you Have can... You gone, hey, oh, by the way, um, for those of you who have played other um, Grand Theft Auto games and haven't really played this one here, um, you can, every time that you actually run over like the submachine guns and stuff like that, even if they're not the same ones that you do, it still refills your ammo. So remember to do that. Yeah, and as you can see here, this is very uh, similar, like I said before, probably this is similar to what you do in San Andreas where you you can pick up gangs and stuff like that and get your homies to come help you out the sad thing is they don't work as well as they do with the Grove Street members you can't tell them where to go and I'll stuff like that you can't tell you them okay, other stay place. here hey go here no you can just tell them to come with you and this then shouldn't leave. be too tough come on guys time to take over this Shotguns do some miracle work. Please. There we go. That's a lot better. No one's gonna there, miss you. It's the end of your life. As it should be. Fuck off, pig. Fucking police. What a fuck. What a stupid AI. What a dumbass NPC cop. <laughs> oh my bro. He sees I have a shotgun on me, and he's trying to beat hey, me with a platoon. Down, man. <laughs> Idiot. Going, hey, what the fuck, Vic? Can you guys waste him, please? You're about to have full Shoot rain. him. Man, you must be on dope. Strap, huh? You about to taste my fist? <laughs> ah! Fuck, this is crap. I'll break your neck, boy. Come on. Yeah, thanks for helping. Oh, wait. This guy's just supposed to be on my side. <coughs> yeah, you see, the the AI is not as useful. Time to go after business number two. Mm-hmm. Come on. Taking over. How many times am I gonna say that during this? <sighs> I 
All right, let's do it. Might as well pick up some armor first. Oh, that's the one good thing about Martin's trailer park is that it's you can actually get some armor there. There's always free. There's always a free piece of armor there, no matter what. So that, that's like the only miracle about Marty's house. <laughs> Everything else is out of his shit. <laughs> it's neighbors to its owner. Oh, my eyes hurt. <coughs> God damn cough, go away. Ugh. Hopefully I get over this really soon. I haven't worked out either, which is probably why I'm so antsy. It's like a little low work, but whatever. How are you going? So now we got our armor. Wait. Keep driving. All right, let's keep driving. Oh, by the way, I I'm not too sure about this, but I think this could be the case. Oh, fuck. Run, run, run. Are they still alive? Wow. <laughs> Watch it, Wanna pray? May okay, as well. That's down. funny. Anyway, I'll back to what I was about to say. I think your gang's clothing changes depending on what you are wearing. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that is the case. Yeah, I'm going to test that out later on. See, if you notice, they're dressed up very similar to Marty's pants. Yeah, shotgun time. Go inside to take this site over. Yup. Oh, and if you remember that brothel that we were at before, that's how many guys were at um, Marty's business. Now, if Marty had actually gotten away with what he was trying to do, um, she, Luis would have been raped hey, by all of friends. those guys. Let's think about that. We did a good thing by getting rid of Marty. It's over. Uh, done. I ain't and got done. No scratch. That was hard. <laughs> Said no one ever. You did it, Vic. The whole damn caboodled yours. Yeah, but I don't know how to run this kind of thing. Marty could do it, and he was nearly inbred. You'll pick it up. You're amazing! You can do anything! Hey, boss, this is a full-time position? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Everything's gonna be just fine! <sighs> now we can transform this and help build up Victor Vance's criminal empire. Yeah, your gang members will always hide out. Will be always be outside of your businesses. It's very, very, very smart to take these over very quickly. Uh, now, when you do this, you can go small, medium, or you could do what's called high roller. I suggest always buying the high roller because that's the highest payout in the game. Oh. And that's exactly what we're, um, we're going to do, too, because I did use some cheats in order to get more than $250,000, which I believe I actually have over $2 million now, even though I'm not supposed to. So, yeah, I'm going to have a fucking great time. I'm going to have a gross swell time doing this. Oh, to develop the site, huh? Gives me an idea. Maybe next video, I'll... Yeah, maybe for the next video, maybe I should actually just do the gang missions. That would be really cool. Just take them over and stuff like that. <coughs> mm -hmm. 
Okay. Well, time to go start a criminal empire. All right, how much? We're gonna transform. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do, yeah, protection, prostitution. What kind of a business should I have? Protection racket, loan shark, or prostitution? Well, yep. I'm a player. I love the ladies. So $8,800. If only the property in Grand Theft Auto Online was that cheap. Oh, the leisure elf. Oh, so you get outfits depending on what kind of businesses you run. Interesting. Okay, let's go around. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.